I'm uh, Pierre Simon, uh, the co-founder of Silicon Students. So the reason you're, you're, you're here today. Um, so I'm going to tell a little bit more about Silicon Students so that you can understand what we do. So S Silicon Students, what we try to do is try to build a global student startup community. So what it means is that in the same way as uh, local uh, startup communities will enable a city or region to uh, grow as the entrepreneurial scene using existing um, actors like entrepreneurs, of course, but also government uh, investors or universities to lead to more venture creation uh, and lead to more uh, economic growth and job creation. We try to gather a group of students, uh, uh, entrepreneur-minded students at a global scale so that they can uh, together uh, grow the entrepreneurship mindset among students around the world. Um, and uh, to, do, to do that, we have a, a focus on the tech industry uh, because it's a great way to discover entrepreneurship when you're a student and there are uh, great things to do in the tech industry. And, uh, and therefore, we try to bring uh, the Silicon Valley mindset uh, to, uh, to more students. So why are we doing that? So we started uh, a year and a half ago um, because we're in business schools and we're really frustrated that not enough um, a, a, of our fellow schoolmates who are sharing the, the, our passion about web and entrepreneurship. And um, moreover, um, France uh, has amazing uh, engineering school, business school, design schools, but they are all separate entities and there is no link uh, between those schools. It was really hard for us to find other uh, students interested about entrepreneurship in those schools. So first, we needed to gather um, uh, from uh, uh, who are already interested about entrepreneurship and then uh, try with this group to, uh, to grow and foster entrepreneurship among the school. But when we launched, then we launched Silicon Students and uh, at this point I was about to go uh, to an internship, a one-year internship in Silicon Valley and we don't even th think about what uh, students in Germany, England or um, Italy were doing whereas there are neighboring countries in Europe and that's why in Silicon Valley that I met those students and realized that we are trying to do the same thing and then we're all in our side trying to reinvent the wheel and that's why I realized uh, we needed to, to, to grow this to make this community global. So what are we doing? Uh, what have we done so far? Uh, we needed an offline and online community. So we started with a really simple thing, a Facebook group uh, that we launched. People needed to, to request to, uh, to join the Facebook group. Now we have like 500 members in France and we're going to launch a global um, Facebook group and then a more uh, complete platform. We have a blog uh, and videos around the content we do. Um, our conference, our interviews, so you can check out on our YouTube channel, Silicon Students. And offline, we, we, did, we thought we needed to bring entrepreneurs to schools. So a really simple format, an entrepreneur, one school, 30 to 50 students from the school or from other schools, and to do that regularly. Uh, the Web Student Warm-Up, you hear the second edition um, of the Web Student Warm-Up, and the goal is really to uh, meet other students from different countries, know what everybody is up to, and also enjoying the, the great conference, which is the web, to have uh, amazing speakers to, to, to speak uh, and inspire us. Uh, and then we also did Startup Dream Team, our summer uh, program for interns in San Francisco, in Silicon Valley, and I'm going to tell a little bit more about that. So this is only the beginning. Uh, we're far from being done, and uh, a little bit more about our next steps. Um, so Startup Dream Team first. Uh, we did the first edition this summer. Uh, we had 25 students uh, uh, that were already um, that have already found themselves their own internship, and we just gathered them uh, living in the same house, which was kind of a entrepreneur a hacker house, uh, as they call that in Silicon Valley. Uh, they did we had a speaker series with Robert Scoble that we can see there. Uh, we do hackathon, pitch session, workshops, and we didn't do even do did a startup visits. Uh, we visited Dropbox, and uh, we had a talk from the CEO Drew Houston. Um, and next year, we target to do 40 students, 10 weeks, and uh, you can already fill your information in Startup Dream Team website on the link there. Um, then there is another great uh, experience we had last year. Uh, we went to South by Southwest, which is like a great festival in Austin where the old tech industry is going. And we really wanted to go, but we didn't have a 
a lot of money, so we rented a van to go there, and actually the, the sentence is there in the title of an article that we wrote on our blogs, so I invite you to, to check it out. And what we want to do for next year is that we want more uh, students to have the same um, experience as us. Uh, as you can see, this is the exact same picture in the middle, in Serendipity at the slide before. It's because actually the, the visit we did at Dropbox inside of Dream Team is because we went on a random party in South by Southwest, met Drew Houston, asked him if he can visit uh, uh, Dropbox, and he said yes. So it's kind of experience that we want people to, to really enjoy. Um, we're going to launch really soon, uh, a, uh, in January, uh, a student digest, because what's really important also is information. Um, we, we need to know what's going on in other, in other countries. So we're going to send, like every other week, a list of events that are happening for, by students to foster entrepreneurship. Not, not for you to go there if you, if you can, but at least you can contact the host, see how, how it happens. If you want to do the same thing in your, in your own university, city, uh, you'll, you'll be able to do that. Um, so people can collaborate and meet if it's not far. Um, but we want to go further. Um, we have other ideas that we're going to implement. Uh, we're going to mostly test things in France and then really quickly try to do that in other countries uh, in Europe. Uh, for instance, we had the idea of a European startup tour. We can do like every month, uh, gather in Berlin, for instance, people from different countries, visit startups and meet, and then the, the month after is going to be Paris, the month after London. It's something we want to do, but for that, we need people like you who are like, motivated to tell us. I'm in Berlin, I can set up everything, like just send, it, send an invite or something like that. Uh, we want to do workshops, we're going to implement some in France, we're going to see how it goes and bring them to uh, other countries. And also we have our blogs and we really want uh, students from different countries to contribute to our blog and tell what's going on in their city, interview other entrepreneur, student entrepreneurs or, uh, or tell what it's like to be, go to an event in, uh, in Finland, in Vienna or, uh, or in Mexico, for instance. So for that, you can s s send an email if you want to get involved and, uh, but ch or check the website and, uh, and all the information we have. So I, tr I hope I, didn't, I wasn't too long and uh, now we're going to be able to really get uh, started the conference our first speaker, uh, Mike Mar, uh, which is a, who is the CEO of I Feel Goods, um, uh, which is based in Silicon Valley. And um, so, Michael, uh, I'll leave you the stage now.